Hello everybody, my name is Hal. This is Quail Studios Guitar. I'm going to show you how to finger pick with two fingers, three fingers, four fingers, and five fingers on the same thing. We're going to use a Travis picking pattern. And we'll just show you how that works. Let's zoom in. So let's use a C chord and an A minor chord. C, A minor. This is just like uh, Dust in the Wind. Let's get a little tighter here, see if we can see a little bit better. I'm just touching the guitar like this with my fingers to anchor them. So what I'm doing is I'm plucking the A string, I'm holding my C chord, plucking the A string, there's the C chord, plucking the A string and the B string. together. D string, G string, A string, B string, D string, G string. Now let's do it with three fingers. Now I've got my ring finger on the E string to anchor. So I'm plucking with my thumb on the A string and my middle finger on the B string. Now I'm going to use my thumb on the D string so I like to use that middle finger on the B string and the index finger on the G string and just keep it there. The thumb goes back and forth between the A and the D strings. Now, let's use the ring finger too. So now we're going to assign the thumb to the A string, the index finger to the D string, the middle finger to the G string, and the ring finger to the B string. So every finger has a string. Now when I do the A minor chord, it's the same thing. Same strings. This is my favorite way of playing this. I don't really like using two fingers because my thumb has to go back and forth between the A and the D string and my index finger has to go back and forth between the B and the G string. This is better, three fingers. But I love the four fingers better. Now I could put these three fingers up to the G, B, and E strings. That's a G chord, A minor. C, G, <laughs> I'm messing up, A minor. Now what if we want to play with our pinky?
now I'm going to assign my um, thumb on the A string, index finger on the D, middle finger on the G, ring finger on the B, pinky on the E. So what I'm doing now is I'm plucking the A and the E strings, D string, G string, A string, B string, D string, G string. I could do this. And not use my pinky. I can use the pinky. Usually I don't use the pinky totally independent. I just worked on Can't Help Falling in Love with You. Here's a C chord. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what I did was A string, D string, G string, B and E together, back to the G string, back to the D string. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. A minor chord. So I use in a C, G, A minor. Now I could use four fingers with that finger picking pattern and go like this. And just go back and forth with my thumb on the A string and the D string. And then the G, that was the E string, D string, and then the A minor chord. Maybe thinking, well, that's all fine and well and good for you because you were born that way. <laughs> you know what? I had been playing guitar for 17 years before I even learned how to do this. And when I um, decided to learn how to do it, what I did was I was taking lessons from a classical guitar teacher, and he said to me, "Okay, you're holding the guitar wrong. Uh, you're holding your hand wrong. You know, you're, you, we got to change everything." And I said, "Okay." So I had been playing professionally for years, lead guitar in bands, lead singer, and lead guitar, all that kind of thing. And so I decided to just work on it like he talked about. Now I'm not playing it, uh, I'm not holding this guitar the way I learned how to play that finger picking pattern because I was using a classical guitar, you know, like this in this position. But um, what I did was I just used a C chord. Now I do have Giuliani studies on here on YouTube. In fact, I think I have, I'll have to put on the screen exactly what it's called, but there's a playlist that I made um, for some studies for Giuliani for right hand. And uh, you can also get in my Quail Studios Music and Lead Sheets book, you can get a whole set of Giuliani right hand studies. But that's what I did. I did some very slow studies. And I did this for, I don't know, eight months to learn how to do this. I also have a video called um, Finger Picking 101, so you can look and see the intricacies and close-ups on how to exactly do this finger picking. So good luck on that. It just takes time. You need to get your muscle memory going. You need to be able to do it very carefully. I have had students that insist on just playing with two fingers like this, and um, it's not as good as playing with three, four, or five fingers. Actually, three and four are probably the best. So what you need to do is slow down, learn how to finger pick properly, and you will be amazing. Once you get it down, it's like, oh, this is simple. All right, we'll talk to you later. My name is Hal. Come see me over at Subscribestar, at Patreon, 
or email me at lessonswithhal at gmail.com and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Oops. Let's turn that on. Mm -hmm.